Um, 66b, Samach Vav Amid Bey, is Tanur Abbanon. That is, in my old Gemara, it's right across from where Rabbi Nechanan starts. Um, but it's also about 15 lines from the bottom. Yeah. It says like this. Yetzin Be'evin Tekuma B'Shabbos. A, a, a woman can go out with a Evan Tukuma, which is a stone that the pregnant women would carry and would be a, um, a segula that they shouldn't have a miscarriage. Now, someone told me once that... Um, that our um, sound. I'm sorry? The mid, uh, the mic. Uh, Someone told me that rubies were like a segula for something. Yeah, hold this. Anyway, I don't know. It's a, um, a, a preservation stone. And Mishum Reb Meir Amru, they said in the name of Reb Meir, after Mishkal Eben Tukuma, that if you weigh a Eben Tukuma, the stone, that is a good segula to have for miscarriage, the stone that you weighed it against, that's also a segula, and you can carry that as well. Felicia Pila, we're not talking about a woman that already had a miscarriage, and now she's worried about the future. Ella Shematakel, she never had a miscarriage yet, she still is allowed to have that segula. Felicia Ibra, and not only if she's pregnant, Ella Shemata she's allowed to carry it even when she's not pregnant, uh, just in case she gets pregnant. Okay. When we said that you can weigh one stone against uh, this Evan Takuma, you can weigh something against the Evan Takuma, and that's still going to be a segula that would work. That's only if, this, if what you weighed it against is actually the same measurement, you don't have to add anything to it. It, it uh, happened to match the weight perfectly. Boya Baya, Baya has a question. Mishkal de Mishkal Mai, how long does this go on for? What you weigh it against the stone is still effective. What about if you weigh something against what you weighed it against? You know, does it get diluted as it goes down? And the uh, Segula, it's a Segula Shaila. So um, does the Segula work when it's weighed against the weight? Okay. Teku, we don't have an answer to that. Amr Abaya. Abaya says, Amr Li Aim, as we said yesterday, was not, a, not his mother, but it was his, um, his uh, stepmother, a woman that raised him. Le'ishta Bas Yoyma, for a fever that lasts one day, Lishkal Zuz take a white Zuz, a Zuz is a coin, probably means a new coin or a pale coin or something, Beleza Lamalchasa should go to the salt pools. Rashi explains that near the ocean, they would let the waters go out and let the water evaporate, and what would be left would be the salt. Veliskal Matkale Milcha, and you should take its weight in salt, in other words, your, the weight of this coin. Ulitsaire Bechalala de Beitzabar, and tie it into the collar the opening of the collar, you know, around the neck, benira barka, with a thread that's made out of here. Okay, the Eli, that's what you're doing for a fever, for one, the, a one-day fever. If that doesn't work, then lusev aparshas drachim. So when you go to the crossroads, v'chichazi Shumshmana Gamla, when he sees a large ant, apparently Shumshmana means an ant, and Gamla means a that's carrying a load. Or on the side it says anything large is called Gamla in Aramaic, or maybe it just means it's carrying. No, it means a large, a large, uh, it's a large ant. It's a large ant. The Dorimidi, that's carrying something. The dory would just the carrying. Liskale, you should take it. You 
you should put it inside a copper tube. Yeah. on the Blistme Baavri. You should seal it with lead, I guess. Blachtme, you should and seal it. List me is to close it. Blachtme Bishitin Gushvanki. And put on it sixty seals. Rashi says it doesn't need to amamish mean a seal. That means that it has insignia on it. It just means it's closed. Its example is if you first you put wax and then you put lead and then you put tar and then you put pitch and 60 seals. Ula parzule, and you shake it, velidre, and lift it. We're talking about an ant in a um, copper tube. Vilemale, and you should say to it, Tuuna chalai v'tuuna yalach. What you carry should be on me, and what I carry should go on you. He's talking about his fever. What the ant was carrying, he'll, 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 that he'll accept. Not the ratio. <laughs> Wait to, to to what to the load. Just I'll take what you're carrying. You take what I'm carrying. Amalei Ravacha bei the Ravuna le Ravashi. Ravacha, the son of Ravuna, says to Ravashi, "Vidom the inish ashkeche." How do you know you're the first one that took this ant? Maybe this ant already has a load. Vivsuk pay someone else already ca- took this ant, put it into the thing, and shook it. And uh, this ant is already carrying someone else's fever. And now you took it and you said, I'm willing to carry your, your load. What I'm carrying and what you carrying, what you carry should go on you. Okay. And if not, take a new jug, and go to the river, go to the water. And you should say to it, Nara, Nara. River, river. Uzvan Kuzadamaya was lend me a jug of water. La Orcha Deklali for a guest that's been that uh, happened to be, happens to be visiting. But Lahadashev Zimni Al Reshi. Then you take the jug and you go over your head seven times. This is like Kaparis, but instead of three times, it's seven times. But Lashadian Lachayre. Then you throw it uh, behind you, I guess. Malay Malay and say, Nara Nara Shkol, Shkol Maya Dihivasli. Take the water that you gave. River, river, take the water that you gave me. The Orchadikli Biyam Yasu Biyam Yasu, because the guest that came on the day that he came, that is the day that he left. Okay. I don't have any comments. Uh, this is uh, what it says. Okay, Amar Ravuna. Ravuna says, "Le'eshta tilsa." This is a fever that comes um, every third day. And I looked it up. It said that it could be a tertian fever. It's some it has something to do with malaria, and um, it com- it comes on and off. If you count, if it's it's every other day, and actually, but here it says it's every third. I guess how you count. If you count both days, and it's every third day. So, so for this type of fever, lace shiva silvi, mishiva dikli. Take seven thorns from seven palm trees. Mishiva tzivi, mishiva kshuri. Take seven splinters. So twigs. See a splint over here. It's splinters from the beams, from seven different beams. V'shiva siche mi shiva gashuri. Say take seven pe- pegs from seven bridges. V'shiva katime mi shiva tenuri. Take seven types of ashes from seven ovens. V'shiva afre mi shiva sanri. Take seven dusts from seven different. Uh, Sanri is the, is the, over here would be the hinges on the door. There's another gear set that says Seichre, which would mean graves. Okay, you take dirt or dust from these seven uh, places. Shiva Kufre Shiva Arvi, take seven types of tar, I guess, from seven different boats. I guess on the bottom of the boats, I guess it gets uh, full of tar. I don't know. Shiva Boine 
Meshiva Boine Kamune. Take seven seeds of cumin. That's an easy one. Cumin. Meshiva Boine Midikna de Kalbasava. Take seven hairs from the beard of an old dog. And um, tie it into the hollow, to the space that's in the collar with a here that's uh, a thread that's made out of here. This is all for that fever that uh, that's every three days. It's a complicated uh, medicine here. It's a lot of different details. I'm Rabbi Yechanan. Rabbi Yechanan says, you're always wondering what's in that uh, Tylenol pill. <laughs> what's ground up in there? Um, this is a high fever. Lishkal Sakina de Kula Parsla. Take a knife that's totally iron. Vardina. Go to where there is a bush. Vardina is like a vera, like a rose, but uh, Rashi says it means a bush, a snare. The nira barka, and tie to it a thread of hair. Maybe it means his own hair. I don't know. Yoy makama, on the first day, lachrik be porta, you should scratch out or carve out a little bit. The layman, you should say, you get the psuk in here. Should say these pesukim. Vayera Malach Hashem a love balabasesh mitechas ne vayar bini asne bayabesh. You should say that the angel of Hashem appeared to him in a fire in the bush, and he saw that the bush was full of fire, was um, but it wasn't. Oh, I'm missing the thing. One second. Vasne and it's not it's not being consumed. That's what he says on the first day. Lamachar on the next day comes back. Lachrich be porti does again uh, carving onto the bush. The layman he says vayomer Moshe surin avera, and Moshe said I must turn aside to look at this site. Lamachari comes back, Lachrich Beiporti does more carving. Balema, and he says, Vayar uh, Hashem, there's three different psukim here, Vayar Hashem Kisar Liris. Hashem saw that he turned aside to, to look. The Goimer, the Pasuk continues, it says, and Hashem calls to him from the Sna, and he says, Moshe, Moshe, and, and uh, he answers, Moshe says, Hineni. Omli Ravacha Breda Ravala Ravashi. Ravacha Breed Rav says to Ravash, she's the one that had an issue before as well with the ant. That was Ravacha Breed Rav Huna. Here we have Ravacha Breed Rav. So it's not the same person. He says, why doesn't he say, Valema al Tikrav Haloim? He should say, this would be very appropriate. The next Pasuk, when Hashem says, do not come closer. Shal na alachim al raglacha, that, that, uh, he should say that, don't come closer. So, Therefore, the way you should do it is like this. You have to combine two psukim in one day, and that way you'll be able to get to that fourth pasuk. You have to con- uh, do pasuk beis and pasuk gimel um, in the first day, where Moshe says, I must turn aside to look at the site. Then on the second day, he says that Hashem saw that he turned to the side. Ulamachar. And then after that, on the third day, he says, Vayemer Hashem al tikrav haloim, don't come close. Okay. So all of this was for this high fever, right? Rabbi, yeah. Rabbi just want, in case you're looking at any pictures and you're wondering what this is. I couldn't get a picture of an angel, so I put the pictures of the blue angels. Just wanted to know what that was. Okay, sorry, uh-huh. bye. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, the chipasakle, 
And when he's doing this to the, uh, to the bush, let's say he should bend down low, and he should carve out on the bush. The lay mahachi, and he should say to the he should say the following, hasne hasne, uh, bush bush. Lav mishum de gvi mikali lane, asher kadosh baruch hu shrinte alach. It's not because you're taller than all the trees that there's hashra hashchina that Hashem put His presence on you. Ela mishum de mechas mikali lane asher kutsu asher kutsu baruch hu shrinte alach. Because you're lower than all the trees, that Hashem put His presence presence on you. V'chiheichi, the chamisei eshta lechanani mishal v'azaria v'rikas min kadmai, and just as the fire saw chamisei saw, the fire saw chanani mishal and azaria, and it ran away from them. They weren't consumed by the fire. Kain tachmine eshta leplani bar plainus b'tarak min kadmai. So too, so the fire see so and so, the son of so and so, his mother. He mentioned him and his mother's name, and it should run away from him, referring to the fever. Okay, now we have another um, a new type of illness with a new type of um, cure. Lasimta, this is for boils. Shchin, I guess in French, Rashi says krug. Cruz, Cruz. Lay you say the following. Say, Baz, Bazye, Mas, Masye, Kas, Kasye, Charloy, Vermiloy. Apparently, those are names of um, angels. Ilain Malchin, the Stalchem Yara, the Sedaim. These are the angels that are sent from the land of Sedaim. Ula Sor, Shina Kaven, and to heal. Um, painful boils, bazach, bazich, bazbazich, nesamsich, kemayin, kamech, einech bach. Um, all of those things, buzz, bazich, bazbazich, masmasich. Those, Rashi says, they have no meaning. There's just uh, incantations. But as your appearance is in you, in other words, as you look, which is the way that uh, the way that the boil looks, einichbach, your appearance is in you, asrech bein zarech. Your place should be by the children of. Your place should be by you. Zarach, that's how it should be. Zarach kekleit ukepard ukepard ukeparda. Your 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 offspring should be like barren women, and like a mule that cannot reproduce. The leipara v'leiravia that can't reproduce. Kach leitifra v'leitirba begufa de plainim bar plainus. So too, you shouldn't reproduce in the body of so and so, the son of so and so, his mother. <coughs> Okay. As you should, he, he wasn't even asking that it goes away. He was asking that whatever boils that were there should not uh, go further and they shouldn't get redder. They shouldn't get more, um, they should just uh, stay as is. I guess that, I guess that would mean that automatically it would go away. If it doesn't reproduce, it would. Uh... Lekipe. Okay. Kipe could also be a type of blister or boil. However, Rashi quotes his teachers. He says that it means these types of blisters that he says in the name of Rabbi Yitzchak, Rabbi Menachem, Nishmasi Yedin. However, my teachers say Kipe is Kafu Shade, is um, translated as epilepsy. That uh, just collapses or whatever. Lay mahachi for these illnesses, he should say this: cherev shlufa, a drawn sword, bekelanatusha, and a sling that a slingshot, 
that's already stretched out. His name should not be, or maybe should not place. What is Shmei? Should not place her, his name should not be. Its name shall not be. Its name shall not be. Lish me. Its name shall not be. Yuchav chulin machayven. An ache, uh, sick, and pain. Okay. All of these are lachash. It's an incantation. You say it uh, to, as a superstitious. Um... Okay. Lishida for a demon. Le mahachi. You should say the following. Havas depakik. The pocket of us doesn't explain what that means, but that we're stuffed up. That, we, that was is stuffed up. That was stuffed up is was. I think. Lita tavar umeshumas, cursed, broken, and meshumas is um, meshumas. Is that a type of cherem? Excommunicated. Bartit, Bartame, um, Bartina. These must be um, names of angels or something. Uh, oh, that is the name of the angel, Rashi says. Uh, all of these cursed, broken, and in cherem and excommunicated should be Bartit, Bartami, Bartina, uh, the son of um, uh, Tar, son of Tame, maybe it means bones, son of another type of Tar or whatever. Kishamgaz, uh, Mirigaz, Vistamai. Like Shamgaz, Mirigaz, Nistamai, these may be. Also, angels. Maybe uh, Shamgas, maybe a um, maybe a go- uh, one of those uh, gods, uh, those Persian gods or something. Okay, Lashida the Besakise for a demon that's in the um, that's in the bathroom. Le Mahachi. A karkafai the Ari. On the skull of a lion, va use de guraisa, and on the nose of a lioness, Ashkechon le Shidoi is found the demon Bar Shrika Panda. Oh, we have a whole name for it. Even has a last name, Panda. The Mesha de Karsi Chavte, I hit him in a row, in a uh, row of in the field of leeks. Belua de Chamra Chatarse. I hit him, Belua, with the jaw of a donkey. Okay, and then the mission said, B'nai Melach and the Zagin, we go back. Just, with, just with, a quick, yeah, just go a ahead. quick point. I think the article quotes the Marsha that talks that a lot of these things are referenced to humbleness and spiritual. Um, connection. So uh-huh. let's say he talked about the burning bush that a person needs to be humble and then through that this reminds him of being humble and then through that he can get his cure. Uh-huh. So pretty much everything here has to do somewhere somehow with uh-huh. with humility. Interesting. The jawbone of the donkey, isn't that with Shimshan? The, like when he was thirsty? Like... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Is that a reference to that? That's interesting. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't know. The name of Lachem Bezaga, we said that a um, that the kings or princes rather can go out with these bells on their clothing. It was made out of gold and it was uh, decorative. 
So then we said that really everyone could do this, but that was just uh, typical. Mantana, who's the one that says this? Who's the author? Amar Abayishya, Reb Shimon here. Abayishya says it's Reb Shimon. The Amar, he holds, Kol Yisrael B'nei Malachimim. All the Jewish people are considered princes. Oh, it's appropriate for today. Yeah, Mamash Reb Shimon. Kol Yisrael B'nei Malachim. And what was he saying that in reference to? I know in Bab Metziah there's a reference to that about if someone says, oh, here it's regarding if you're allowed to use um, rose oil, which was very expensive. Uh, that for, for a regular person, that would be a medicine. But for a, uh, a king or a prince, that would be something normal to use to put on himself. Reb Shimon says, call yourself b'nei malachim. On Shabbos, because he, he can't do medicine. So what is rose oil considered? So in, over there it says in, in one of the Bavas it talks about if someone promises a certain amount of meal, a certain type of meal to his workers. I think it says he has to, he has to give, if he doesn't say exactly, he has to give them like this large meal because the Jewish people are princes. It's such an expression, I think. Okay, then it says, Rava Amar Ba'arag Bikusevidivrakal. Actually, it could be that um, it's talking about that this is actually woven into the garments, and no one's going to remove these bells. And therefore, everyone will agree that you can wear this on Shabbos. Okay, now we have a Mishnah, a new Mishnah. It says, Yetzim Bebeitza Sachargal. A person can carry a locust egg. Ubashain Shuel and a fox's tooth, Ubamasmer Minatsalov, and the nail from someone that was crucified. Mishum Rafua as a healing. This is what uh, what Remeyer holds. Vachama Maisim Lacham say no. Vachama is Raf Bachal. Lacham say you can't do this even in a weekday, Mishum Darke Amairi, because this is. Like witchcraft, uh, it's not witchcraft, mamish, but it's the uh, it's uh, it's the ways of the Amorites, which is prohibited. It's superstitious practices, which are, we're not allowed to to do. Has to do with Can't follow the ways of the Goyen. The Gemara says, "Yetsim beis What does this help you? That you're allowed, according to the mayor, you're allowed to use this. It says the Avdi l'shechla. It helps for an earache. Rashi says they would hang it, hang it on his ear. What does a fox's tooth help? It helps for sleep. And the way it works is like this. The Chaya, if you manage to get the tooth out of the fox while it was alive, um, then Laman Denayim. And that would help for someone that sleeps too much. It would help keep him awake. <laughs> Nightmares. <No. laughs> uh, he won't. He he'll he'll wake up. Um, Demisa, if you got it from a, a, a fox that was asleep, uh, I'm sorry, that was dead. You got it from then Laman de That would help someone fall asleep. Someone that has insomnia, so this would help him fall asleep. Yeah, I assume it's uh, it's when you took it out. Not like um, he got it from a live thing and the guy is up and everything and then the fox happened to die so that he falls asleep at the same time. I assume that's, that's not a... I don't know how this works anyway. Okay. But getting the, um, the tooth out of the fox that um, Shel Silverstein had this thing with the, the dentist getting the, the teeth out of the... Was it a crocodile? So what's one tooth for a crocodile? I'm pulling it out. Then it closed its mouth. It says, what's one more dentist? What's... Anyway. So um, next thing is Bermasmer Menatzalov. The nail from a, uh, uh, someone that was crucified. Da'avdi Lezirfa. This is good for infection. Nefach Maka. 
uh, gets swollen. If something gets swollen, this, this would help it. it. Sounds like infection. Mishum Rafua Divri Rabbi Meir. If this is uh, for healing, Rabbi Meir says, Rabbi Meir allows this. That's put together interesting over there. Mishum Rafua was going on all the other things. So Abayav Rav Adami Tarvayu, Abayav Rav both say, Anything that's proven to work, uh, that heals, so there's no dark Yamayr over there. It works. It's, this is a science. But if it's not proven to work, I guess, if it doesn't, then it's going to have dark Yamayr. But Tanya, how could you say that that it's dark yamayri just because uh, I guess because it doesn't heal. A- anything that you do that wasn't proven is going to be yasser. But Tani, we have a brisa that says like this: Elan shemeshe Let's say there's a tree that the fruits are falling off before they ripen. It's a big problem. So, so soikroi. You paint it, it's so very, so I guess you color it, Basikra with like a red paint. And you load it up with stones. I guess you hang stones from its branches. Gmar explains. We understand why that should be something that works. You put stones on it. It shouldn't be so strong. Now, that, what that would do. Rashi makes it look like that it's so strong, it's like pushing off the fruits early. Um, m- maybe what it means is, is that it will stop it from blossoming, from, over- from blossoming too much, which causes it to, to get weaker. I, I, I know they take off like a lot of the blossoms and they just leave a few so that the tree could, uh, could hold to at least those what it's... Uh, you know, they, they wipe them off or they shake them off, a lot of them. So maybe this is what they're doing. They're weakening the tree so that it doesn't have all those blossoms and then it will hold the fruit, that, the remaining fruit. Is that possible, Professor? I can't hear that. You're muted. I never heard of it, but it makes sense. I have a fruit that's all blossoms and I didn't get any fruit because there were too many blossoms on it. Uh-huh. So... This kumar is relevant to me right now. This is today, I should take off the blossoms and get only a few. That's yeah. right. I know they do it for um, the the when they try to grow jackfruits. Ah. They like they uh, they compete to see how big they can get them. So if they leave too many on, they're not going to make it. They have to take off uh, mm. most of them, and then they just try to grow like the, the big ones or whatever. Ah. So, um, no idea. Ella sacred basikra, my covered, but if you but if you paint it, what type of uh refu is that? What type of uh, is that gonna work? You put some paint on it. So the Gumarian says, so that people should see it. And then they're gonna add Davin for it. That's what it that's how it works. It works because of the Davening. It's not uh it's not magic. Kedetanya, as was taught in the Brisa, Vitami Tami Yikra, says that he calls out, or he's called Tame, or he actually says, I am Tame. Everyone should go away from me. This is the Metzairah, which means, That's what Dr. Stein does. He tells us the, the people that are sick, we should know to daven for them, we should learn in their schos. Um, which is important. If someone's sick, they should... Uh, let people know that they should that they should daven for them. Amar Ravina. Ravina says, According to which opinion do we take a cluster of, of dates and hang it on the date tree? Um, it must have been a cluster of dates that fell off early. And you hang it off, you hang it on the day tree, everyone should see it. Ki hai tana, it must go according to this opinion that holds that you want everyone to daven for it and you're allowed to do that. Tani tana beperek amiroi, 
or emoiri kamed rebchia baravin. If you look at the Tesefta of Shabbos, so Perik Vav and Zion in the Tesefta are all about Darkei Amairi. Elu Dvarim Mi Darkei Amairi. Chapter 7. Vav and Zion or Zion and Ches? Perik and Mary was it Rashi? Perik Echad Shoshoni B'Tay Sefta. Perik Zion and Perik Ches. Rashi says, well, Rashi says there's a chapter in the Tesefta. But Zion and Ches, the Tesefta. They have all of these types of um, dark Mary, all interesting superstitious uh, things. So he says all of those things that are in that chapter have dark Mary. So they start actually. Levar Mihani, except for the following that are probably that he probably means to say that actually work. Someone that has a bone that's in his throat, stuck in his throat. Maybe I mean you take the same type of bone. You put it on his forehead. You say the following. Chad chad, one by one. Nachis, go down, Ubala, swallow. Bala, swallow, Nachis, go down, Chad, Chad, one by one. Ain't by Mishim Daki Amari. That doesn't have Daki Amari. Okay. To add this, Mr. Uh, Heim, Dr. Mr. I don't know, Heimlich. Maybe he has uh, <laughs> add this to the procedures. I, I couldn't find the human balancing a bone, uh, so I uh-huh. had to borrow this one. La Adja or Idra is a fish bone. Le Mahachi, you say the following. Ninatsta Kamachat, stuck like a needle. Ninalta Kisaris, closed up like a shutter. Shia Shia, it means go down, go down. Okay, turn the page. I get okay, so that is not um Darky Amiri as well, I guess. Now Haimer God Gidi that my uh good luck should have good luck. <laughs> this this guy uh, said if it wasn't for bad luck, I wouldn't have any luck. He says, my, my mazel should, uh, my fortune should be, um, should be fortunate. V'sanuk lo yishpi v'bushchi. V'sanuk lo And it shouldn't be tired. Yishki v'bushchi, day and night. If someone says that, yishpi dark yamayri. He has, that's considered dark yamayri. Okay, so all the things... Is that, that, is that related to God, Kedudji, Gudenu? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Do they have a comment on that? Because over here, it looks like it's a problem. No, I, I didn't see a comment. Rabbi Yehuda, I'm a God. Rabbi Yehuda says, this is much worse than the way you're making it. He says that this is... Um, this is even calling to idols. It's not just that dark Yamairi is that uh, you're not supposed to do the, what the Goyim do. But this is a real idol. He says, it says in Yeshaya, that they prepare a table for God, which is, uh, um, which is an idol. Who bishma vihi bishmai? If Rashi says a man and his wife, they switch names at night. He calls her by her name, she calls he he calls her by his name and she calls him by her name. So this is a type of nichosh. It's a um it's a superstition. And the Ishbay Mishim Darki Amairi. That is uh, attributed to the ways of the Emirates. Dainudani means my barrel should be strengthened. If that's what he says, that's considered the Dark Yamari. 
However, Rabbi Yehuda Imer, ain't done Allah Shana Vedazara. No, that's much worse. That's a real idol. Shnemer Hanishpoim, Bashma Shemran, Bimruche Alekechadan. Rabbi Hachadan, I guess. Um, they calls out to the, uh, he's calling out to this God. Don, so, uh, so, um, would that be similar to nowadays um, people say, like, knock on wood? Oh, uh-huh. I, I assume that has to do with uh, Yashka. I don't know where that's, what, it, what it comes from, but it doesn't sound like it's, a, like, it doesn't sound Jewish. What they say with um, someone's going to the mikveh, to convert and on the way in they say uh yashka this is cold or something they say you go back and uh, study a little more <laughs> okay so um someone says to a raven tsarach scream i guess that, that's what it means and it, or he says to a, um, I don't know what, how you say, a female raven, Shriki, whistle, and turn your tail around for good to me. And I was like, I guess it means like, give me good luck. <clears throat> so, yesh permishim darke meri, that's considered darke meri. Ha'imer, shachtu tanagal ze, shakara arvis, vitanagal shakara gavris. If someone says, we're going to shech this um, uh, rooster because it was making noise, it was calling out at night. Or we're going to shech this hen because it crows like a rooster. So that's dark Amari. I get, I mean, I would... If I had chickens, this is what I would do. Also, if uh, I didn't want them in the city, you know, a rooster uh, waking up the neighbors, you'd shech the one that makes the noise. But um, I guess this is not an issue. This is in the fields or whatever, and he's just taking it. Um, why is he choosing this one? It's just about the meat. It has nothing to do with the, uh, the, the sound that it makes. Rabbi. Yeah. Uh, at this side of town, you know, the elementary public school, yeah. They have chickens and roosters, and actually, when I wake up in the morning, I hear the rooster crowing. Oh, wow. It, I can make the bracha even before I see uh-huh. any light. These starts are uh-huh. yeah. So oh. anybody wants, take a walk 5 a.m. by uh, Sable Palm Elementary uh-huh. School. It's probably earlier than that. I know. It's very, whatever, it's early. very early. Yeah, it's amazing. Someone says that there should be, um, he wants there to be blessing in his wine. He says, I'm going to drink and there should be left over. I'm going to drink and there'll be left over. That's uh, also a, a superstition. That he's, by saying that, that's going to help. If someone cracks eggs against the wall, Some say that it's mikavas, that he's putting the shells on the wall or he's putting the shells back together. And this is supposed to be a superstition that the, that the chicks don't, should, don't die. Or bifnei afreichem, but I don't know if I talk, if we're supposed to have that there. Bifnei afreichem in front of the young um, chicks. That's yesh permishim darke amayri. Vamegis bifnei afreichem. If someone stirs a pot in front of these chicks, that's also dark amari. What's the stirring of the pot going to help? It's a superstition. Hamarakedes, someone dances, vahamayna, and counts, shivan vechad afreichem bishul shleimusul, counts the, the chicks up to 71. That's also a superstition. I don't know if this exists. You count like a certain amount of numbers and then that's going to be, that's going to protect them. Hamarakedes lakutach is already getting uh, comical. If someone um, dances in front of this salad dressing, um, lakutach is a dip for bread. It was a, it had sour milk and salt and, and um, 
think some bran as well. If someone is silent when they're putting the beans into the pot, or it makes everyone else silent, it's going to ruin the don't talk while they uh, while it's cooking. Or someone that's, uh, that that um, screams while they're making the um, beans, the split beans. That's also dark yamayri. If someone, a woman, urinates in front of the pot so that it should cook faster. So, that's also dark yamayri. Uh, that sounds like a berry or a uh, if someone takes a twig a mulberry yeah it's a it's a it's not it's a twig it's a uh, from a mulberry tree or puts uh, shards of glass in a pot so that it should cook quickly so that's that's allowed. Apparently, it's effective and it helps it cook. But the chacham say no. That's dangerous. The glass you might not strain it properly, and uh, little pieces could be dangerous. Okay. Tanur Rabbanu was told in a brayse, "Nice and bolshol melech l'teichaner b'shvil shetar v'tadlik." You can put a small piece of salt, a lump of salt in a candle in a, um, in a lamp so that it should shine, should shine better. And you can put, um, you can put tit, tar or pitch in clay pieces in the lamp so that it should burn slower. Rashi says it would cool off the oil and help it and it would burn slower. It would preserve the, it would make it last longer. That is allowed. Amar Rav Zutra, Haiman Demichse Sharga Demishcha. Someone that makes a cover. That covers a lamp of oil. Um nafta. Or someone that uncovers a um, a lamp of nafta. Nafta, we said, was another type of um, nafta was kerosene. Kerosene. Yes. Um, that's ka'ava mishum baltashchis. Over there, he's violating the prohibition of wasting. He's, he's destroying. He covers an oil lamp. He's causing it to burn quicker because he's heating it up. So the oil is going to burn quicker. Or if he uncovers it, then uh, the kerosene burns, uh, will burn in all the areas that are uh, uncovered. It's, apparently, it's not kerosene with a wick. Um, it's actually lighting this fuel, and it's burning. So the more you uncover, the more it's going to, it's going to burn quicker. So he's just wasting it. I think that's the pshat. Chamra v'chayel from Rabbanan. If someone says when he's pouring uh, wine, he says, um, wine and life t- to the mouth of the rabbis. Maybe to the yeshiva students. That's not considered dark amari. It's a story of Rabbi Kiva. He made a mishta, could mean a wedding or for his son. Every cup that they brought, he said, He said, wine and life to the mouth of the sages. Tell me, no, it's, that's the sages. The Rabbanan is the sages. Life and wine to the mouth of the rabbis and to the mouth of their, of their students. 
Hajjan Allah and Meisha. Hopefully, neither. Okay. Next pair of Cloud Guddle. Okay, well, let's leave it here.